Well, turning to other issues that the president hopes to spend a little more time on, uh, immigration and Obamacare, what are you watching for while Congress is out? Obviously, the health care law, uh, Republicans have been focused for 40 times on repealing or otherwise neutering the health care law by cutting off funding streams. John Boehner said he was going to do more votes in the fall to target the law. He thinks that Democrats are beginning to support some of these measures, and he sees a political opening. Now that dovetails into the, the government funding fight, which begins in September, September 30th, um, when the, the government runs out of money, because a, a group of Republicans want to shut down the government to defund the health care law, uh, a strategy not a lot of Republicans agree with. But John Boehner is trying to soften that by saying, here's some other votes to repeal the health care well, law. These really, are going nowhere either. That could really backfire on the, re <coughs> the Republican Party if they're seen as, as trying to uh, be obstructionist in that way and they get blamed for an actual shutdown of the government, right? So they have yeah. to... If you There's that down. balance of appealing to the base versus looking yeah. like you're not doing anything to serve the people. In the I think there are a lot of a lot of establishment Republicans and strategists in the Republican Party who think that uh, shutting down the entire federal government, all of the services that everybody gets uh, over what ultimately is insurance for a small slice of the American public, uh, will backfire. Not only that, you look at the timing of these two things. The government runs out of money September 30th. The first day to sign up for the new health care law is October 1st. Just fast forward for, as, a, as an editor, Rachel, think about, uh, think about the, uh, the big headlines on Politico and other major news outlets of these two things happening at the exact same time. It would be very hard to uh, paint the Obamacare fight as anything other than what we just called it, shutting down the entire government over this small slice. And, and right after that is the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling will need to be lifted sometime between October and January. So you have these, all these issues kind of like dominoes. Right. And we don't have an exact date no. on that yet because we're waiting to see when they, they do their emergency right. maneuvers and all the things that could keep it uh, a little further down the line. Right. I think the, the government has more revenue than it's had in, in many years. So that's kind of prolonged the, the, the debt ceiling. Uh, but John Boehner, in a closed meeting to his top advisors and aides the other day, recently said that the only way Republicans could lose the majority is by shutting down the government. So I think Republican leadership is really cognizant that this is uh, they're heading down a path that is could result in them losing mm -hmm. the majority. Right. And John, I know you're just getting going on the White House beat, but what are you hearing about White House plans for messaging, either for the fiscal fights or <laughs> Obamacare or anything else? They've got a, a summer recess now to contend with. Look, I mean, I think it's a, it's a hard thing for the president right now because you've seen uh, his approval rating slip and his greatest strength has always been uh, his personal popularity, that he's able to uh, make people feel good about him. And, and that's not there anymore. And I think they're struggling to find a message. I mean, we see him uh, this week talking about housing. We see him at other times talking about jobs in the economy. Uh, well, on separate he went issues on, in housing. And the Leno show, of uh, course. Right, and he went on Jay Leno last night, uh, and, and that was uh, looked at, I think, by a lot of people, including Isaac uh, Devere, my colleague uh, covering the White House, uh, as uh, a chance to try to communicate to middle America uh, in a way that he may not have uh, more recently. So uh, I think they're looking for the right tack to take right now in terms of uh, communicating a message and figuring out what that message should be. That said, I think they feel very strong uh, in terms of uh, their ability to watch the Republicans implode because they've done that time and again.